Hello? Yeah, every, everybody can you hear me? Hello? Hi, can you all hear me? Please tell me a yes or a no on the chat. Great, thank you, thank you. So yes, we, we will cover, you know, we'll start covering crude oil on one, you know, the sort of the MCX crude in charting, the order flow part of it, it is there. And we'll also cover in general, the crude oil observations uh, in terms of what I, you know, my view on crude oil in recent, uh, let's say based on the recent and long-term market activity. So I'll also at the end of the session, I'll help you share the charts also that I have for crude oil essentially for both order flow and volume profile. Okay, so we'll get started. Uh, th th this is a... Hi. So maybe uh, this is a crude oil chart for you know the volume profile chart on crude oil and this is the uh, sort of the footprint charts or the order flow charts on crude oil. This is MCX crude by the way. Okay. Uh, so we will cover this, you know, before this, we'll sort of uh, go with a quick, uh, you know, recap and plan of what crude oil is, where it is from a larger to short term point of view that that will that will help you analyze in terms of how I see it. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming you can see the screens as well. So um, everything is loud and clear. Okay, so we'll chart, uh, start with the big picture analysis on crude, which is, uh, you know, the weekly charts. Okay, uh, that's how I sort of drill down, start from the weekly and then uh, move to the monthly and the lower time frame charts. Okay, sorry, daily and the lower time frame charts. So weekly, if you see, this was the last inflection point, 4671, where, you know, around this level, we uh, sort of made a few low 4650 areas, let's say, and then we were able to break out of it. Okay, that that's the sort of big picture on weekly. Okay, and also uh, on the upside, if you see, the resistance or areas where we sort of took support and then eventually failed is around 5900 areas okay so these are the two key weekly levels that i have at this point that we see of course there's a top here you know which was a sort of a again a top and a low confluence is something i'll consider around this level which is 5570 which is another very close level that we have okay and then uh, we sort of cleared this top and now is holding last week's low is holding above it so that uh, that this is another level so these are the uh, three or four you know key levels on the weekly charts that we have okay now drilling down to your daily charts okay so if you see we had this bullish candle you know um, and then since then we have been sort of uh, holding inside that candle right so for me i think the two clear inflection point is one this 5470 okay and the low of this candle which is or, or for that matter now the low of today okay which is we have been holding through is 5410 okay so i would want to see a breakout play outside this zone uh, uh, for any sort of a bullish play okay now what we want to watch is in the you know in the order flow now going forward is essentially to see whether we have any levels here or not okay so if you if you see this is the profile edge i'm, I'm looking at the two profile edges okay so i'm looking at these two levels 50 roughly 5400 5470 are the two areas that i'm looking at at this point okay now i'll drill down to the lower time frame charts in terms of uh, I'll, I'll share the settings I'll, I'll share the settings okay I'll share. don't worry about it so okay we just load for the wait for the profile to load once okay 
I'm sorry I, I had some issues connecting uh, with your this you know I was trying this YouTube connection for the first time so I had some issues sorry about that I'm just allowing it to why is the footprints not loading yeah i'm good so uh, you know these are the levels as you mark so now if you look more closely uh, <coughs> on what are the other inflection points that we have okay so when i say inflection points i am looking at areas where you know uh, bullish or a bearish resistance can turn up okay 54.46 is a uh, immediate level that i have at this point uh, based on yesterday's and today's price action okay so these are the uh, key levels okay and uh, on the downside uh, i think uh, we had uh, this level now on today's value area low is something also we'll want to watch out for okay so uh, uh, these are the so now you have we you know you have sort of a plan up now okay so until uh, because of this bullish play i think until uh, you know these lows hold until this uh, around this uh, 54 40 54 uh, 45 holds we would look for an upside play okay given uh, this thing and at the same time if you're not able to cross this i'd look for a downside play right okay so based on this uh, just a second okay so the key plan for now is one is a rotation here to an upside test here okay and if you are holding above this then look for a breakout play that is one second if you are able not able to clear this look for a rotation back here or back here okay around the composite for this uh, week let's say okay these are the two key areas that we want to really look for okay okay now and now based on these levels okay now based on these levels uh, see let's watch out the price action okay that we had okay uh, number one if you see th this is okay this is a 30 minute chart and this is a 15 minute charts right okay yeah. so 50 uh, you know let's watch the levels 54 30 so we had around uh, this level right 54 uh, uh, 30 okay if you see this 54 29 30 is the low here so what we had is uh, you know until this point from the morning if you see okay a lot of sellers trying to push through essentially a lot of delta in this minus 60 and minus 60 and then you know also minus 306 so this is the sort of the last uh, real push from the sellers which has failed minus 306 of delta here okay and then we had uh, bias coming in here then bias defending here and that's where this took as a good footprint order flow support also okay now uh, now again we, we are sort of rallying and testing this 54 65 70 areas okay why 54 60 i had in mark so this this is good volume coming in okay so if you're really scalping one is a test up you know uh, take this as a support area this you know given this volume uh, this uh, conservative volume or we look for a pushback to this area for a long here so uh, if you're really trading this current session calping you know anything if you can push here hold and look for a long okay or uh, else you know we'll see what happens at 5470 okay that's the trade as of now stocks yes we can use but uh, the order flow you know tick size settings and etc will change for stocks okay so that's the difference okay okay now uh, what i see uh, do, do i'm i'm sure you all know how uh, crude indian crude works right okay uh, indian crude is essentially a proxy of the global crude okay which is basically the current global crude price multiplied by the dollar price okay so usd and a price is the rate of you know, one barrel on indian crude so on its own it's not an independent instrument like a nifty or a bank nifty that's a major difference you have to be cognizant of that fact that you know these are this is not an sort of an independent instrument okay it's eventually you know tra it's trade based on the global crude and uh, the global crude upside or downside uh, determines whether this can go up or not okay so based on that what i've observed uh, in our crude is because it's not an independent instrument okay you have to be very careful okay 
uh, what are the green lines where do you see the green these are the imbalance supports okay so uh, this was a buyer here this was a buyer here. so i'm i'm expecting this or somewhere to push to this as a support for an upside push to test 5470 uh, to 80 areas then we'll see what happens okay if you're able to hold through it okay this is automatically drawn based on a setting that you choose on the imbalance chart okay so i have a setting uh, i'll give you the setting uh, after this end of the session so that you can use it so essentially this is this is drawn automatically based on the setting okay so now um, i just uh, so what, what as i said how indian crude works is the global us oil price into the usd inr price okay that's the way indian crude works uh, which is uh, the current Indian cruise price. So essentially not being an independent instrument means that the order flow here is a, a lot of times, you know, reactionary order flow in terms of what desk is doing, somebody's arbitraging crude versus our crude, etc. So that can be things. So what we look for is, you know, typically uh, relative delta. Okay. That is where I look for in this case. Okay. I think it's based on WTI price into USD INR price. So uh, uh, WTI price into USD, yes. Uh, yeah. You can trade based on this. So that's what I'm saying. One, one very specific nuance I've observed is I'm looking for a relative delta in Indian crude. Okay. So for example, if you see after the sellers failed here and then price was holding. So then I was looking to be bullish here. Now, then we had a good bullish candle, good bullish candle, but deltas are good actually, okay. But then the fall side delta, you know, in this case 74, but if you see the price reaction was very weak. So somebody tried to sell but could not, okay. And then again, uh, the, the buy delta was strong, right. So I'm seeing the weak sellers have a weaker relative delta and hence I was looking for a long side play. Okay, so that's the way you sort of play this in terms of see where the relative delta is uh, because uh, it's not like a nifty or a bank nifty where there's a lot of absorption and all. It's all reactionary. You have to understand. See, see this is taking a support and we look to test this and 75. Okay, these are the two areas we had marked this and 70, 75 where you would want to test. Okay, let's see how it goes. I'm not sure if I'm able to hear you guys. I, I don't know how to unmute it. Let me check. That's easier for you guys also. Can you guys try speaking? I think the uh, sound is on, so somebody can speak if you want. Okay, or otherwise you can just chat, maybe that's fine. Okay. Uh, so I'll, this is the profile chart or oh, uh, just for anybody who is new this is like each day's profile okay so what we had on the profile activity if you see after uh, you know uh, why profile charts are important it gives you a very good idea of you know where price is versus let's say uh, the value is okay so we had uh, two good breakout days if you see this was a good breakout day where value was created here then we had this breakout day where value is created here and we had a clear low volume here. So if you see the low volume and uh, no, this profile low was where price took support and sort of bounced up. Okay. Now next subsequent days we are consolidating, but we are still following overlapping values. Now generally overlapping values means what price will continue to look to stay in this range until proven otherwise. So top of the range you book and look to go short. Uh, lower of the range you look to go long okay until you have a breakout and then a hold and look for a long side breakout play outside the range okay so that that's a typical trade opportunity here so generally when i'm looking footprints here you look for absorption on the bottom of the range any day okay and then we look for the uh, absorption on the top of the range or failure on top of the range like this and this we can look at this chart like yesterday what happened here okay that will give you a very good idea so So this low was what 5370. Yeah, do you see this? Okay, so what happened till this point? Okay. Uh, we had a very intense selling 447, 229, 286. We had very intense selling. But in this candle, in this candle, where were the sellers? Sellers were concentrated around here. 
122 uh, this thing if you see okay and then once price held above this we had buyers here a huge buyer 270 84 this so they were very aggressive buyers which essentially ensured this delta became positive okay next candle sellers tried selling negative 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 but price was really holding up so that means you know sellers sort of would have got stuck so there was a seller here there was get a seller here so once this level took out it blasted on the upside typically that's how you'd observe whether price is following sellers or buyers or price is doing otherwise essentially so that is your hint to absorption or price being smooth okay till this point if you see till this point if you see uh, you know uh, let's see something like this right okay so if you see uh, till this point it was sell 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 all good sellers price following it was buying but very weak buyer delta so that means buyers are not doing a good job okay very weak buyer delta okay then again one selling resumed once we broke this low it was still sell sell again so this is where seller stopped with a buying delta but in the, in the you know but again why buying because these so these were aggressive buyers here now once this buying level was hit it took support here then it took support in the previous buying levels here and then it pulled back from there okay any any questions uh, or it's clear so what i'm looking at is relative delta here to ensure that whether I, I need to have a bullish or a bearish view based on the order flow currently the relative delta is uh, positive on this so you know you'll continue to have a bullish view and look for a trade pullback trade around this on the buying side okay but uh, again as i said the larger picture is also that we are hitting towards a bit of this uh, you know resistance areas so we'll, if you are long we will want to book around here and wait and see if you can hold above it for a few, fresh long okay 630 i think the markets will open and then we can see a spike on one side the advantage with trading crude is i think the margins are much lower compared to nifty and bank nifty and that's where uh, you know you can trade it it's it's this is an instrument which you know by nature is very close to what bank nifty is okay so that way a, a, you can really trade it uh, you know that way if you're a bank nifty trader this is an instrument you can uh, you re easily adapt adapt okay very close to what bank nifty is actually in terms of nature of volatility etc yes you can trade this i think um, you know there's no you need to have an mcx account that's all i think So the margin required i think for one lot is 65 70 000 only on this one okay so much less compared to let's have uh you know nifty and all Yes, I will share the settings. Okay, I'll share it in the Telegram or Twitter wherever you want it. Okay. Okay, Shivkumar, I have created a lot of videos and content on order flow. Uh, you might have a look at it. Okay, so in terms of uh, understanding where order flow is, you know, uh, what is the basics to start with and everything. Uh, so I think it's on the exchange thing because it's a different exchange crude okay with Tapan so that's why I think margins are lower uh, I think zero da is one of saying 65,000 in try just checked so I know maybe I th I'm assuming 65 70 percent 70,000 would be the margin per lot so if you say that way uh, you know every 10 point is like 1000 so if you capture 20 to 30 point in a day it's like two three thousand on that sort of a margin so risk reward and the movement is good okay in crude i have seen you know there are uh, at least three two to three days in a month or more with a three percent four percent plus movement okay and also uh, uh yeah option buying of course it will be less up and so one you know option i'm talking about future let's say nifty magnifty future versus 
option futures okay uh, sorry crude futures the other advantage with trading crude is uh, if you are an uh, you know uh, if you are an office goer you know then um, it, it's an instrument you can actually trade in the evening after the us crude markets open because most of the volatility and movement is after the nymex opens because it is trading on the basis of the global crude which is on nymex cl futures okay so uh, the real good activity window in most cases is 6 to 11, 11 you know in the evening okay so that's how it is so delta as i said you know because in crude you have to understand uh, uh, our crude is a you know is a copy of the global crude okay it's not like a nifty or a bank nifty where it it can just move on its own it is eventually directly correlated with the wti crude movement if you analyze this chart and wti crude chart it's exactly the same no difference okay okay so so that's where uh, you have to understand so generally that means what somebody is arbitraging it okay somebody is constantly just watching the wti crude and um, sort of trading against it so here i am not looking at a real absorption and delta and i'm looking at a relative delta to see buyers and sellers interest okay so that way okay generally uh, there is no number for it you would want to see that that is relative delta and activity but anything above plus minus 50 is something i am looking at an interest okay 50 to 100 typically yes so i i and ramesh i was exactly talking about this so you know i'm looking at a relative delta it will not work exactly the way nifty works probably okay so you have to look at a relative delta to see whether buyers are more interested or not and eventually the profile analysis will work that should not hamper okay so the you know the volume profile and other analysis that you do should really work on its own okay Okay, uh, so uh, one strategy, you know, uh, typical any profiling strategy that you have, I've shared a few in my videos, I've shared a few in terms of order flow as well, but generally anything around, you know, if you know the concepts around value area and all, those similar strategies would really work, okay? Okay, now, now it's pushing back, you have to watch for an absorption here, if it happens, you know, then it's just open, so let's see, there will be some volatility, but we're discussing a pullback trade into this level, okay, let's see how it happens, okay. Uh, what time frame I'm generally looking at, you know, uh, 5 to 15 minutes for trading and 30 minutes for analysis. Uh, can you hear me? Uh, uh, can you hear me? I'm assuming you can hear me, right? All everybody. Yeah. Time frame, as I said, I'm using a 15 minute for execution and 30 minute for analysis. I would start from the, you know, um, uh, sort of, I really start from a higher time frame drill down, which I showed at the start of the session. See, moving average in, in general is, uh, you know, I think relevant for understanding the direction and the trend. Okay. I don't find it much relevant for trading, but generally to, um, you know, in any sting, in stocks, in crude or anything, I, I prefer it to understand my bias and direction. If you use moving average, use it for that. I personally do not use, I use something, the view up a lot, but I do not use moving average. But I think moving average is good to understand a sense of direction. Okay. Okay. Thank you yeah 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 please if you know i have not done the youtube live generally i've done the google meet and zoom but you know if there's a like button that you see please feel free to like it that would be nice so see we had a push here let's see i think uh, you know how it reacts so generally that's what i'm saying for now the delta has been positive so i'm looking for a pullback long at this point okay until proven otherwise okay so that's that's the strategy typically you would do okay excellent sir 
Okay, so this is a profile chart. I'll share the setting and I use the footprint charts on besides the foot profile chart. So this is a typical you know, setting that you would want to use. Okay. You can drill down to lower time frame. Sometimes, you know, just to keep it consistent, you might do both as 15 minute if that helps. Okay. So uh, also, uh, this is where you will change the setting just to I'll show you everybody so that you can have a comfortable setting. Okay. Uh, uh, you go to order flow, you go to the tick multiplier. So right now for profile, I have kept it five point. I can reduce it, let's say to two point. It will make the profile more intense. Okay. You can make it anything in between. So to make the profile more intense. Okay. Order flow, I've kept it at one point. Okay. Uh, I've kept it different. When you go to this setting, you click on the chart, uh, you know, a particular pane and then go to the setting. I've kept it at one point. So basically when it one point essentially means crude stick size is one. Okay. Unlike Nifty Bank, Nifty where the tick size is 0 0.05. So every block here, if you see one block, is essentially one point in you know nifty or a you know essentially one point in the uh, underlying okay so if you see when i say every block every one this is one block okay buy sell this is another block okay this is another block so this is each one point okay Okay, I, I generally do one thing. Okay, the one generally what I do, uh, I, I am typically looking at, I, I of course it starts at 9, so I am generally looking at from uh, let's say 9, 10 itself uh, because sometimes if there is news events, there are morning opportunities. But till 9 to 5, I tra try to trade pullbacks because you don't have a much bigger move because the US markets have not opened. Okay, after 9 to 5, you look for a breakout play if at all. But uh, you generally have a profile view from 9 to 5 what it is doing. So that gives you a very good sense of idea where the market is poised. Like, you know, today, which is an advantage I see compared to, you know, Nifty or a bank Nifty sometimes. Today, for example, this was the entire day yesterday, right? Okay. If you see, this was the entire day yesterday. What was it? It was a profile like this. Okay. Today we are bracketing on the upside. We also have a very nice zone here and there. So this becomes a good reference of, you know, failure or sort of if it goes below, we are looking for a short. If it holds, I'm looking for a long. So you have a pre-market sort of view also. When I say pre-market, a pre-US market view of what, you know, crude can do. So if really starts holding here, we look to attempt here and higher. Okay. That is a game. If it doesn't, then, you know, we look to go back lower and probably attempt somewhere around this game at uh, this place. So that is an advantage. Will the entry on high or low of candle? No, I did not understand the question. So, uh, sorry. If you can rephrase the question, Ramesh, please, it will help. Okay. Uh, what else? So I, I have an active Twitter group and you know and a Telegram group as well where we are actively trading Nifty Bank Nifty. We can start crude shortly, but at this point Nifty Bank Nifty we are actively trading it. So feel free to join. It's a good group. A lot of people are sharing opinion. It's not about only me talking about it. Okay, there are some very good traders who are also sharing their insights and opinions. So we are a very active group. Uh, feel free to join. Okay, if you feel like. Um, uh, that uh, it's uh, it's FNO traders on Telegram and uh, the Twitter is I think uh, FNO traders of course. Okay. So Ramesh, if you can ask your question one more time, uh, it will be good. I did not understand the question. I'm not looking at a high or low. I'm looking at, you know, uh, sort of trying to form a view of where market is. So as I said, since now I have a, let's say this is, uh, you know, I'm, uh, until the support is there, we are expecting it to hold. So I'm looking at, as I said, I was looking at a pullback to anywhere between this to this region when this big order is there for a pullback entry to, to on the long side, essentially. Okay, that is the plan. So nothing too specific on the high and low. Yes, Tapan, it depends on USD INR. It's very interesting. Okay, so what happens is uh, till 5 o'clock when USD INR is open, so it will directly, uh, you know, crude Indian crude price, uh, let's say Indian crude price is equal to US crude, okay, 
into INR. That is a formula. Okay, you can just stretch it out. But uh, you know, beyond that, uh, it so five o'clock they freeze it, and then so whatever is value. So you know, sorry, five o'clock the INR is fixed. So whatever now US crude is moving into that multiplier. It's just a direct multiplier. Okay, if if you see the current INR price and the Indian crude price. Okay. Uh, Vaidya, no, uh, I don't have a mentorship at this point. I think, uh, um, you know, I'm not not much at this point. But uh, we will see in the future, not at this point. So everything, most of the content is free. I do conduct sometimes live order flow webinar. Okay, I've done one actually, not sometime. The next one is planned next Tuesday for Nifty Bank Nifty. It's a live day session. So if you're interested, you may join that. Okay, I'll share the details in Twitter or Telegram. But otherwise, at this point, there are no mentorships and all. Okay, Tapan uh, clear on the INR, right? So for it's not only for Tapan, for everybody, you know, understand how the crude price in India is derived. If you're trading an instrument, you should really know how that crude price is derived. Okay, so here, you know, Indian crude is a direct derivative of the US crude. Okay. Ramesh, okay, okay, I use cluster also. I'm just trying out imbalance for some time. Nothing specific. Okay, I use actually cluster. I like this view. Okay, the bid ask cluster. This one. I'm just trying to, you know, experiment with imbalance. Nothing else. Okay, for some time. Okay. Generally, so I've asked the go chatting guys to help get that imbalance into the cluster. Then it will. This will be actually be more complete. Okay, if they have this imbalance in the cluster, that highlighting the imbalance. So then it will really help. So what we have here for now, see see the pullback, 50, 47, 54, you have a good pullback. Okay. We, we, what we have here for now is this candle had a very good delta, okay. So 331, but it's mostly, you know, on this, uh, this zone. So it has to really take this out. So that means there has been some absorption here. So it has to really take it out. Once it takes this out, it can go further up. Else there is a risk of stopping and then pausing. Okay. That's how you sort of analyze this. So you could, in this case, you could have prefed longs kept around these levels. Okay. Because we are looking to long the pullback. And you know, if you're a scalper, you already have like a 15 point move, you, you know, which is great. Uh, and if you're a swing trader also, then, you know, you can hold some books some that's how it is. It's simple, right? Okay. NG, I have not looked at it. Honestly, I have not traded for some time, but uh, we can do that. Maybe we'll do a separate session for NG. Should work, but you have to use the same crude principle, it being a derivative of the global NG. Okay. So I think it, it has to be the same principle, but yes, NG would be good actually. Gold, I was recently checking. Okay, gold, uh, I had a lower order flow. I had a oh gold 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 when well, i had a yeah i created a chart for gold okay this one which was on 30 minutes though so gold i was using a setting of 10 okay so 10 point as sort of one level okay can lower it but 10 point was good guys yeah, crude good breakout trade if i don't i am i'm not i'm sure nobody would have traded it but that's fine but uh, the idea, I think you got the gist and the idea of, you know, tr trying to get into the pullback, right? We are trying to, you know, get a pullback and trade this. Okay. Gold, I said, uh, you know, tick size uh, 10. Okay. And uh, what else? Uh, I'll share the template and uh, you know that's that's it is what else what else any more questions guys or we can sort of keep it short I think I wanted to keep a simple connect okay and uh, if you like the discussion as I said you know please sort of 
uh, not just like maybe you can help socialize the community in Twitter or anything that helps to grow for all of us. And everything is free at this point. Most of the content that I do, you know, um, so it's basically, yeah, so it's just, just out of interest. What else? Any, any questions that we have or uh, guys, good trade if, you know, this one. Now you have to see whether you know you take this out or this level we sort of absorb and rotate. Okay, that's the that's the thing that you would want to observe here. You have to Sunil, you have to subscribe to the MCX data feed. You have to subscribe to the MCX data feed. The the charts is there. You have to yeah. Uh, Pavan breakout is false or not? It's a tough thing. See, generally you have your levels, right? So my, uh, you and you form a thesis. So for example, this is my thesis was sort of based on the order flow and the price action. I wanted to trade a pullback. So now we've got a pullback from here to let's say 65.70. Now do you know uh, if you're in the trade, I would tra trail it from this till this point, let's say. But then uh, because this has been a resistance for some time, I would want to really watch it and see whether you know my price is able to sort of clear hold and go up or it is stopping we are seeing absorption here so one ways i observe for absorption at these levels okay if there are absorptions then i see there is a scalping opportunity to trade it back lower here yes I, i'll do that i'll do that Tapan. yeah i'll i'll share the url one beautiful thing with go charting thing is i can share the url you just copy paste it and you can use the same template that i am using Okay. Uh, I, I I think pretty much it, guys. I think if you enjoyed the session, any more questions? Else, it's just was specific to crude. So you have to use, you have to subscribe to the crude data feed if you want on Go Charting. Okay, and I think that's all. You, sorry, not crude data feed, MCX data feed. Okay, so you'll get crude gold and everything in that case. Okay, rest of the order flow settings are same as Nifty and Bank Nifty. And so we had a good trade huh, on this. And, and the other thing is uh, consider joining the Telegram group or the Twitter group that we have, you know, so that. Uh, I think Preman, that it I took uh, took a trade actually. So we are saying right, uh, even if you joined early, we said we'll look for a pullback entry here, okay, and uh, for a 70s, uh, 75, and then see from there. Okay, that's the next level, and uh, till then nothing basically 70, 75. So <laughs> now if you're trailing this trade, you really want to keep it uh, in a stop loss below this cluster of sellers that you have, right? Cluster of big orders that you have. Generally, if you really want to trail it hard, and this is something that will apply to any markets, you know, typically, that can price hold that level or not, okay? Okay, guys, um, if there are no more questions, um, uh, we can sort of close the session okay we we will have a community connect which is uh, you know um, free to join on sunday on the telegram community members that is one if you can you want to join second is uh, i have a live session planned on nifty bank nifty on tuesday so full day live session commentary and all so we call it market lens where we sort of you know observe and trade the markets together and that will be on google meet so you can you do the voice chat and all so that is on tuesday so that is a paid one so if you are interested can join that either way so if you any i you know um, yeah data packs are not that costly i think any other data pack also smithy would cost a similar manner i think right i mean if you see they are i th you know i think they are buying from true data so if you go to true data also the mcx pack are similarly priced only okay so i don't think data packs are you know expensive um, and they are also clubbing a few data packs sometime soon okay so hopefully there will be some combination packs available that would help you know that's one of the things that we discussed probably you will see that sometime maybe
MCX, uh, I think you can take a 10 symbol plaque, Smriti, which is like $15. So um, that should help. Uh, telegram link, it's on my Twitter handle also. It's t.me, just a second. Next second. I think it's t.me, uh, FNO Traders. Okay. Just a second. So it's t.me uh, FNO traders. Okay, so you can join it if you want. It's on the Twitter handle description. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, telegram link came okay. and then Rohan. Okay, my name is Santosh Rohan. If that helps, okay, I'm Santosh. Everybody also. How much go charting? I think OF is reliable power I've been using it for nifty and bank nifty for a long time crude recently started generally reliable there are some very OF specific challenges with India as a you know NSC as an exchange in India as a thing but that's a very long discussion but uh, for now I think we have a reliable thing and it's a decently reliable setup you know there are some setups and trades we discuss on a day to day basis in the group which you might uh, find useful so what you can do is join the group for some time you know uh, 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 join the group for some time see if you find it because i share a trade plan i share some order flow observations on a daily basis yes smriti the challenge is you know india exchanges they charge a lot of money for to these data vendors okay for that is the challenge so for them to make it reliable they have to charge it back to us so unfortunately it's india specific problem like uh, anybody buying data from NSC directly, so let's say true data that buys data, you know, I think they pay 40 50 lakhs essentially for that, okay, per annum. So that's how uh, the challenge is. So then they have to have the subscription cost and all, okay. But if you might, you know, if you're just uh, trading on uh, charting and all, uh, the broker's data is free, so may use it. Most broker charts have, uh, you know, have a chart these days, okay, so you may use that. Uh, what else? Okay, <clears throat> so you can use fast chart, but I don't think you can use the data here. Okay, so you can use the chart definitely. Why not any chart, fire zero, the whatever you use. Okay, no, no brokers have it, Bowen. So I think uh, it's only a platform specific thing. Ninja traders, uh, there are some uh, vendors which sell Ninja trader uh, order flow. They are very expensive. I think 30, 40,000. Okay. Uh, so uh, it's very expensive for uh, so that way no brokers have it okay but i think it's still you know if you're trading even a couple of lots one or two lots it's still worth i think you'll recover the money because it's not only order flow you get the profile also you get market profile also so a lot of other things okay and uh, we are trying to also build a community to see you know how we can grow further Ramesh, yes, why not? I mean, but you have to be mindful. Crude is a global, you know, commodity. So there can be overnight events. It's, it's there with Nifty Bank Nifty also. But yes, definitely. Why not swing trades? Definitely on. So Sunil, Bell TPO. Uh, see, Bell TPO is a Ninja Trader plugin provider. Okay, for uh, I think profile and uh, order flow. They are very expensive. That's the only thing I see. And uh, go charting is uh, so you know eventually true data is the data vendor. So Bell TPO will also use true data, let's say, or go charting will also use true data. Okay, go charting is web based. Uh, uh, um, you know web based, and they have I think the uh, starting cost is very less. Uh, today, if I take a Bell TPO thing, I might have to pay. 
30 40000 and then of course the data cost which is again 1500 rupees per month um, so here the order flow package is free the data cost is just what you pay for okay that, that that's an advantage and so you if you're getting started i think you start at a low cost you know experience it if you if you if that method works with you then you really invest money to you know buy something more fancy for now but otherwise this works reasonably well okay yes yes go charting is actually the cheapest if you're using order flow in india anywhere you have to buy a package it is not free anywhere okay uh, we can use uh, smriti fires no uh, so any no no can we no, 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 which one is more so order flow. so okay power order flow and uh, mp are two different concepts okay this so mp and uh, market profile or volume profile is essentially a technique to identify value and time and let's say build a context of where markets are what it is doing and you know that sort of a thing right so you build a view on that so order flow is more of an execution framework where you're trying to time and entry exit find more short term you know uh, support and resistance etc so uh, so it, it's it's a little bit of more add-on data within mp for example i don't see if there was a field buyer here or anything seller here but here that gives me the data right okay that somebody tried selling but could not at this point let's say okay so the, these are the additional things that you get okay but the, both are useful i think it's more of you know this is a, uh, helps you from the picture and this helps you with an execution entry or a tight stop loss typically okay uh, guys we are at the end of the hour i think uh, thank you everybody for joining i did not expect um, you know uh, a lot of this sort of participations questions which is very nice um, uh, we can have further discussions in the telegram or the twitter thing uh, okay uh, thank you again i think um, uh, any more questions quick one i can take else else uh, you know we can sort of close it and please leave your feedback on twitter or on the youtube i think twitter is also great you can leave your feedback there it helps okay for uh, for helping grow the community thank you vijay thank you A any last questions i can i can take up okay nothing sir i think all good thank you everybody stay connected we'll connect again we'll have more of these sessions i think that's good if you liked it i think we can have more of these sessions Okay. Uh, thank you, everybody. Yeah. Bye-bye.